Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Game of Trades and this is going to be a technical analysis of the S&P 500. So the market has been extremely bullish in the past uh, few weeks. Uh, we have had a significant rally up past the all-time highs uh, that we recently made uh, and up a few percentage points. Uh, now, if you've been watching my past videos, you'll know that I am uh, pretty skeptical of this uh, breakout. I, I've called it many times a false breakout. In fact, I called uh, this uh, breakout a false breakout and it actually ended up being a false breakout. We actually immediately failed and uh, cut back under the all-time highs. Uh, is this time going to be different? This is the third uh, breakout to all-time highs we've had uh, in the past year. Uh, so let, let, let's see if this is going to be different, if we're going to uh, drop down, perhaps backtest and then bounce, or are we going to, again, drop down and break this level and come back down just like we did right here. And that's what I'm going to be discussing in this video. Um, when are we going to see the a small correction and how uh, small is this correction going to be? Is this perhaps going to lead to a bigger uh, stock market crash? So the first thing that I want to address on this chart is the MACD and the RSI. They both look uh, very interesting, uh, mostly to the bearish side. I mean, we did uh, have a bearish crossover recently on the MACD. You can see the blue line here has just crossed under the red one. Um, this could obviously be a whipsaw signal, especially considering that today, uh, on Monday, uh, we've actually seen quite a bit of a rally up uh, so it could be a whipsaw signal and we could head on higher but usually uh, a bearish crossover tends to indicate that the momentum is uh, temporarily shifting uh, to the opposite side uh, to have a counter a counter correction uh, just like we did here we had the rally bearish crossover counter correction same thing here uh, rally uh, bearish crossover, counter correction, and again, same thing here. Uh, so is this time going to be different? We'll see. Uh, obviously, nothing goes up forever, so I can guarantee a 100% that we will see a correction at some point. Is it going to be now? Is it going to be in three weeks? Again, uh, we're going to try and pinpoint that uh, with the hourly charts uh, later in the video. Now, the second thing that I want to address on the MACD is the fact that we still have uh, divergences on the daily chart um, and this again points to a potentially uh, more downside in the coming uh, days in the coming weeks uh, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here uh, we have the MACD making a series of uh, lower uh, highs uh, whilst the price continues on, continues on higher and we had the same thing here um, where the MACD uh, continued on higher uh, here at the end of 2018 before the huge uh, stock market crash here we had um, and the MACD was making lower highs so this is typical MACD divergence uh, where the price continues on higher the MACD goes down and you have the stock market crash uh, or just a simple correction it doesn't have to be a crash obviously um, so that is something that we still have on the MACD uh, we don't have it on the RSI. Uh, we actually burnt, burnt through the uh, divergence that we had made. Uh, so it does not apply to the RSI anymore. Uh, and again, uh, nothing is 100% in my trading strategies. Uh, so this divergence can get burnt through. It can, uh, if we continue on to go higher, uh, the MACD will go up and uh, the divergence will not play out anymore and that is why uh, that is why you always have to wait for a sell signal when trading with these kinds of strategies you, you cannot uh, invest into a position just based on divergence you need the divergence and a sell signal or a buy signal uh, that confirms and that usually will come on a break of trend line and that's uh, also something I'm going to discuss uh, in this video now there's something that I want to express in regards uh, to some comments that I got in my last S&P 500 video. Some people were saying 
uh, that they think um, I am overly bearish, and that's perhaps the case. Uh, but you know, my my bearish case on the S and P five hundred is not a signal to uh, to 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 short sell the S and P five hundred. There are currently no sell signals on the S and P five hundred. I'm not currently short on the S and P five hundred. I am merely a warning of potential um, reversal indications on the charts that I see that uh, uh, that indicate to me that the S&P 500 is currently a risky investment. So uh, I would not personally recommend being invested in the S&P 500 too aggressively right now uh, just because of all of these divergences. We're overbought on the RSI. You can see here that's not very good news. And let's not even get into the weekly chart uh, full of divergence on the MACD and on the RSI uh, and on the weekly. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We're also starting to get uh, overbought on the weekly, which is uh, not usually a very good sign. Now, again, I'd rather uh, be patient and wait for my kind of trade setup than, than to just uh, blindly uh, invest in the S&P 500 just because things uh, look bullish right now. Things... Uh, look like they're uh, going up, going in the right direction, and everyone else is invested in the S&P 500 just because of the breakout. That's not my kind of trading, and in my opinion, in my experience, that is the best way to lose money. Do not follow what everyone else does. They're usually wrong. Uh, so uh, that's what I wanted to say about uh, those comments. Uh, and now we can get into some deeper analysis uh, on uh, the S&P 500. And for that, let's take a look at the hourly chart. Now, here is the uh, rally that we've had in the past uh, couple of weeks. We have a nice trend line here uh, with many reactions. So there, it is definitely a valid uh, trend line. We have a few reactions and definitely a lot of people looking at it. Uh, and here we have the all-time high level that we broke recently, uh, $3,028 uh, right here. Uh, what I see on this chart is, uh, again, it's the divergence on the MACD that tell me that, you know, this 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 trend line is likely to break soon. You can see the MACD here starting to wane down here, starting to, to uh, really make uh, lower and lower highs. And the momentum is really contracting as we go up and we're starting to form a wedge pattern here, uh, contracting uh, price action as it goes up. So I give it, you know, you can extend this uh, wedge pattern. I give it to around uh, December uh, before it would uh, probably uh, break down. And then that would likely send us down to uh, back down to the uh, all time high level. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see if we uh, bounce off of this level or if we uh, break down. But this. Um, if we get there, this will definitely be an opportunity uh, for the long or the short side, depending on what you think will happen. Uh, if you if you long, uh, if if you're waiting for a bounce here at the three thousand level, this will really be a very nice opportunity for you. And if you're waiting for a break, well, as soon as it breaks, you can short sell uh, with a stop uh, stop loss right above. Um, so that's definitely something to watch out here. Uh, and again, you know, this trend line is definitely tradable. As I said before, uh, I'm waiting for a tr uh, sell signal. Uh, you know, you have you need a combination of uh, divergence, which we have, and a sell signal, which would be the break of trend line. So in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, or a couple of days, uh, probably this week, I'd say. Uh, we're going to have this break of trend line and we're going to uh, see a move back down to the all-time high levels. And that will really test uh, if this breakout was uh, legitimate or if it was just uh, a small hoax. Now, obviously, we have to uh, remember that this is around Christmas time. Usually in December, we do tend to have uh, you know more upside than... Um, during the summer months, uh, that's because uh, you know uh, everything works better during su uh, during Christmas. Everything works better during Christmas. People 
buy more things, the economy is uh, more stimulated uh, by the uh, consumers. Uh, so that's definitely something to, to remember uh, with the S&P 500. If you're expecting a breakdown, uh, you have to be careful uh, because the markets uh, are extremely bullish and extremely resilient uh, uh, recently. Uh, so it could uh, bounce up and head on higher and just extend the divergences that we have on the daily chart and the stock market crash or the correction that we're really waiting for uh, would happen uh, a, a little bit later, perhaps in 2020. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to say. I went a little bit all over the place in this video, um, just because there's not not that much to, to, to say on the S&P 500. I mean, we're just grinding up uh, uh, slowly. Um, if, if you're invested long, well, that's, that's obviously great. Uh, but if you're looking to swing trade uh, down on this break of trend line, well, you're just going to have to be patient uh, like me. Obviously, I'm going to make a video uh, addressing this um, as soon as it happens. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.